I've just bought enough ganja, that's the local name for marijuana, to keep me smoking for months. There's more than a pound of it here, and it cost me just 40 shillings. Nothing illegal about it. I got it from a government-approved shop. For the hash and pot smokers of the West, Kathmandu offers a first-class service. Far from the restrictive drug laws of Europe and America, the hippies and the beets smoke undisturbed. Mixing the strong but rough local product with shreds of tobacco, they pass a wooden pipe or chillum from hand to hand. <coughs> Only rasping coughs break the peaceful silence. At the Tibetan Blue restaurant, no one minds if they linger over a glass of sweet lemon tea or slump stupefied over the tables. Much of the hippie's time is spent here. <coughs> Once or twice a day, they emerge gingerly into the narrow streets to clear their heads and visit the temples to be found all over the old city. For the hippies, the easy-going religious life of Nepal is attractive. They like the mixture and muddle of Hindu and Buddhist thought that the local people accept. Colour, ceremony and music is what the simple-minded hippies love. Without worrying too much about the significance of what they practice, they enjoy spinning the prayer wheels and ringing the temple bells on their daily tours of the holy places. Whether or not these young men are tuned in, they've certainly dropped out of the society they knew. Sven was a Swedish college student. Mike, a motor mechanic from South London. Chris, a graduate who'd just finished a course in criminology at Cambridge. Together, they've quietly rejected the practical Western world and seem not at all sure that they'll ever want to return. Driven from Istanbul by an increasingly irate police force, hurried on their way by the authorities in Delhi, the hippies sink gratefully into the slow, comfortable tolerance of Kathmandu. Here they live cheaply on goat's milk and cheese, bread and raw vegetables, sustained by money sent from home and occasional cadging from tourists. A simple room at the top of a typical Nepalese family house down by the river costs them only a shilling a day. The hippies don't need much to make them happy, they're not worrying about tomorrow. <laughs> 